stuff. In fact, nitinol, a nickel-titanium alloy, can spring back with a force of 55 tons a square inch. The actual phenomenon itself is not yet fully understood. An engineer at the laboratory's Ridgeway Banks set out to build an engine to harness this. In a small workshop across from his office, he designed and built a wheel with nitinol loops hanging from the spokes. He calculated that if he filled a container with cold water and another with hot water, the loops of nitinol moving from one bath to the other would bend, then spring back, and that the sudden spring of the nitinol in the hot water would drive the wheel around, thus becoming the world's first solid-state heat engine. He was right. This simple crankshaft wheel first began spinning one morning in November 1973 at the Lawrence Laboratories Berkeley, marking the first time that heat had been converted directly into mechanical energy.